and open to our security and intelligence services, we can intensify the security that we give to the British. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I thank my right honourable friend for his statement? The government appears resigned to the prospect of no deal. Yet one area in which they should not be resigned to the prospect of no deal is insecurity. Yeah. I note that my right honourable friend made no mention of security in his statement this afternoon, and the Prime Minister made no reference to security in his letter to parliamentarians on the 16th of October. So will my right honourable friend confirm that if the UK walks away with no deal, then our police and other law enforcement agencies will no longer have the necessary access to databases such as PNR, in order to be able to continue to identify and catch criminals and potential terrorists in order to keep us safe. Yeah. Well, my, my right honourable friend um, makes a very important point about security. I'd say three things. I think the first thing to say is that a significant progress has been made in respect of security cooperation, but it is the case that the EU are insisting that before we have access to systems like the Schengen Information System 2, that we have to accept the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. We cannot accept that. The second thing I would say is that there are many, many areas in which we can cooperate more effectively to safeguard our borders outside the European Union than we ever could inside through a variety of methods and arrangements open to us, open to border force and open to our security and intelligence services. We can intensify the security that we give to the British people. And the third thing I would say to the Right Honourable Lady is that I agree with her. When it comes to everything, security and other matters, no deal is better than a bad deal.